the main thing I focus on is experimentation and risk taking. Um, and I think this is the biggest lesson that students can learn is to try. And I, I have had students come up to me in their later years and thank me for pushing them to, to experiment and try to find their own voice. So that's the main thing is just see what happens. You never know. And also to let go of the certain idea that you might have where of what it might look like or what it's supposed to look like. And really more engaged in the process of making rather than the final result. Well, it's been interesting in my own practice. I've been using it a little bit um, in that if I take a photograph of the work in progress and I put it on the screen, I can, it gives me a little bit of distance from the image and I can look at it a little bit more objectively. Also, if I feel like an area needs a lot more red or something, I can, through Photoshop, take an area and really uh, put in elements. As you can see, I collage a lot of different things and sort of test it out and see what it looks like. I also use technology in my own artwork in that I do a lot of Google images searching. And so I will um, print it off and then do a transfer onto the canvases or paper. And also I work with uh, digital projections as well to uh, to the layering. So my computer, even though this is OCAS, has, it has some paint on it. <laughs> um, don't tell Andrew. Um, and it, it, uh, it's always with me in the studio because it's, an, it's actually an integral part of my painting practice, which I never thought it would be.